Hello viewers, I'm back again with a very delicious recipe of pizza. Everyone loves the pizza and loves to bake it. You are going to love this recipe. In this video, we will be learning how to bake a pizza with homemade white pizza sauce and homemade pizza tomato sauce. How to marinate the chicken with simple spices. The pizza is going to be yummy and you are going to love it. I am going to knead the dough at the end and let it rise for about 20 to 25 Now the butter has melted, I'm going to add 1 teaspoon of crushed garlic to it and saute it for about a minute. Now we have sauteed the garlic and butter, now I'm going to add 2 tablespoons of all purpose flour. Mix it really well. We are going to saute it for about a minute and a half. Water to it. After adding the water, you will see lumps. We have to mix it while pressing down with the spatula so that we are left with no lumps at all. If you still find lumps in it after cooking it, just blend it in a blender and your sauce will be smooth. Now I'm going to add a little salt to it. Also add 1 4 teaspoon of black pepper powder. As well. You can also add a chicken stock cube to it instead of salt. Mix it really well. As you keep on cooking, the sauce is going to get thick. Now our white pizza sauce is ready. Take it out in a bowl. As the sauce cools down, it will get more thick. It's time to prepare the pizza tomato sauce. For the tomato sauce, I'm going to take one large tomato, one medium sized onion and one clove of garlic. I'm going to chop them roughly. Now in a pan add two tablespoons of cooking oil. Now add the chopped garlic and the chopped onion. Roughly chop the garlic, onion and tomato as we will be grinding it later on. Stir fry the garlic and onion 
on high flame for 2 minutes. Now I am going to add roughly chopped tomato and add to it some salt as the salt will soften the tomatoes. Stir fry it for just 2 minutes. Add half teaspoon of black pepper powder, 1 teaspoon of whole cumin and 1 tablespoon of sugar. Mix it well. Again saute for just 2 minutes, then we are going to add the ketchup. I am going to add 1 third cup of ketchup to it. Mix it well, cook it for just 1 minute and later on I am going to put it in the blender and blend it. After blending, take it out in the same pan as we are going to cook it for about 3 to 4 minutes on high flame while stirring continuously. Our sauce is ready. Now it's the time to prepare the chicken. I have taken one cup of chicken. I have taken the boneless chicken. To it I am going to add black pepper half teaspoon, one third teaspoon of red chili powder, one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of yogurt and the salt to taste. Mix all the ingredients really well, our chicken is marinated and ready to be cooked. Now I am going to transfer the marinated chicken to a pan. Spread the chicken evenly and let it cook on low flame. I am not going to add oil to it. Let the chicken cook for 4 to 5 minutes on low flame without any lid. After 4 to 5 minutes, mix it really well. To cook from the other side, I am going to keep it stirring as it's almost cooked. You can see the golden color on the chicken. Take the chicken out in a bowl and our chicken is ready to be juiced. Cut the capsicum. I'm going to need about one large capsicum, chicken, tomato sauce, white pizza sauce, one medium onion chopped, some olives, and 200 gram of cheese. For the dough we are going to need 4 cups of white flour, 1 and a half tablespoon of yeast, 2 tablespoon of sugar. In a deep bowl add the flour, 1 and a half tablespoon of yeast, 2 tablespoons of sugar. Add salt according to your taste then mix it well with the help of a spoon. After 
mixing it well, dig a hole in the center and start adding the water. First I'm going to add 500 ml of water to it. Mix it with a spoon. Add another 200 ml of water to it. Mix it with the spoon again. Add half cup of white flour to it once again and knead it with the help of your hand. Wash your hands before kneading. The dough is going to be really soft. Now I'm going to add 80 ml of cooking oil to it and knead it until the oil is absorbed by the dough. It will take about 3 to 4 minutes. With this dough, you will be able to make two large thick pizza or three large thin pizza crust. The dough is ready. I am going to let it rest for about 15 to 20 minutes without covering it. The dough will double in size. After 15 to 20 minutes, press it down with the help of a spatula. And it's ready to be used. In a baking tray, add 1 tablespoon of cooking oil. Spread it with the help of your hand. Make a ball of the dough and spread it onto the baking tray while pressing it from all sides. My family likes a thick crust so I am going to bake a pizza with thick crust. After spreading the dough on the tray, add the white sauce and spread it evenly. Then add the tomato sauce and spread it evenly. Later on add some cheese to it. If you do not have the pizza cheese, no problem at all. The white sauce is going to do its work. Later on add the capsicum, onion, chicken, olives and some pizza cheese. That is the mozzarella cheese. After adding the topping, just press it with your hand a little. You can see the pizza has spread a little more on the tray. Now it's ready to be baked. I'm going to bake it for about 20 minutes or until the top and the bottom gets golden brown in color at 180 degrees. You can see our pizza is ready. I have baked two pizzas with it. In one pizza, I have used the chicken, while in another pizza, I have used the chicken sausages as well. Enjoy the softest and yummiest pizza with homemade white sauce and homemade pizza sauce. Do try the recipe. I'm sure you and your family is going to love it. And yes, don't forget to share it with your family and friends. Thanks for watching. Thank you.